So today I'm going to be creating a pose for Mohawk Storm. And when I first start off with drawing a character in a pose, what I do is just create like the first basic form of it. So for this video today, it's just going to be like a really basic uh, structure pose for now. And um, like the pose is going to be uh, uh, doing something different, but like the it's only going to be a basic form of that pose. And um, as I go on with this video series of creating Mohawk Storm, I'm going to show you how um, how I do my process on creating a character and fully flushed out and everything, inked and colored, you know, effects, background. I'm thinking about making seven phases of this video series here. So the first one is going to be just like a regular basic structure, um, very base body pose of the character. And then the next phase would be like me cleaning it up. I'm gonna show you how like I start putting like the outfit on it, the designs and everything. So yeah, when I'm drawing this, keep in mind like when you ever you're creating like different character poses, feel free to, to have fun with it. Like just come up with like a whole bunch of series of different poses very basic stick figure poses and um, see which one you like. And you can also reference poses. So when you use reference, the, uh, the key thing about references is that whenever you're an illustrator and you're creating character designs, you're doing commission work and, and things of that nature, or just drawing for the fun of it, you never want to take the same exact pose that you're referencing from. You kind of want to switch it up a little bit. I would even suggest taking your pose from like maybe two different references just so you can have yours a little different from you know just the original main pose that you was referencing so people it'll be hard for people to, to be able to compare your pose from something i'm sure that like a lot of y'all that are illustrators or into comics and things y'all seen like those comic illustrators that would take like a pose and rip it straight off of another comic book and it just stands out like a sore thumb like it's just crazy like how many different um artists had actually did that and you can like you know they got you'll, you'll see it all over the internet like people post up pictures of uh, a character and show you like a pose that the artist had took her from and it's perfectly identical so yeah just keep that in mind like whenever you're creating different poses and stuff like that you kind of want to like switch it up um i always try to suggest people to just like at least reference more than one post if you're going to go that route um if not though you know just try to come up with like a whole bunch of different dynamic cool poses that you can think of to put your character together and yeah there's nothing wrong with using reference though like I said just try to change it up a little bit so that it'll be your own unique thing that you created so yeah that's all I wanted to talk about and show for this video um yeah so hopefully this video helps and everything that I share with you will help and yeah you know you just reference this if you want just to see how I do it to start off with so here you have it just a basic form of the pose that I'm going to do for Mohawk Storm and I'm looking forward to this coming out great and then when it's finished I hope y'all like it if you enjoyed this video then hit that like and subscribe button you can also check out some of my other videos. Feel free to leave a comment or suggestions for future videos you would like to see me do. Thank you for watching and God bless.